over 80% of viewers to Globetrotting are not subscribed, so be sure to hit that button to support the channel. The Airbus A380 at one point in time had many questioning its place within the industry, some even going as far as saying it wasn't needed anymore. However, the series has experienced a surprising resurgence since the global pandemic. Airlines that had initially planned to retire, the iconic super jumbo, such as your Etihad Airways, Qatar and Lufthansa, found themselves compelled to return the plane to service due to a rapid surge in demand. The unexpected turn of events can be attributed to a combination of factors, including what you could describe as the unforeseen pace of travel recovery, maybe supply chain struggles at Airbus and Boeing, and also the capabilities that the A380 presented to its customers that couldn't be ignored. The global aviation industry was battered by the global pandemic, but it also witnessed a swifter than expected rebound in travel demand. Analysts initially predicted travel demand would not return to the levels of pre-COVID until as late as 2025. As we know, that wouldn't be the case, but as travel restrictions eased, passengers really demonstrated that there was still a desire to get out in the world, whether that be for holidays or to see family and friends. Airlines were caught off guard by the rapid resurgence, especially in specific markets. And when you're factoring in a workforce that had been decimated as companies attempted to cut costs wherever possible, a lot of focus was placed on lowering the amount of staff that they were employing. But see, when strong demand returned, they were unable to keep up. And what it also led to was the need for increased capacity on popular routes. In this context, the A380, with its unmatched passenger capacity, emerged as a valuable asset for carriers facing this scenario, naturally for the carriers that still had it to its name. While demand rebounded quickly, airlines also faced challenges acquiring next-generation aircraft, this due to supply chain disruptions at leading manufacturers of Airbus and Boeing. Additionally, it was important to note that reactivating their parked long-haul fleet also took a lot of work. This was a multi-year process for some. But back to the aircraft issues. Delays in the production and also delivery of newer, more fuel-efficient models like your A350, 777X and 787 left carriers with no choice but to rely on their existing fleet types, which in many cases included the A380 and, as often described by many, your inefficient and aging types, which were mainly viewed as a short-term solution. The A380, although older for some companies and less fuel efficient than newer models, presented a pretty viable solution for airlines that needed help in meeting the demand without the new aircraft that they wanted due to these industry-wide supply chain challenges. Airports with limited slots, such as London Heathrow, continue also to need help in accommodating the growing demand for air travel, and the A380's high capacity has allowed airlines to maximise passenger numbers within the constraints of limited slots, making it a pretty ideal choice. This has definitely been highlighted through Emirates' operation of the world's largest passenger plane, and why they've been so adamant about a new rendition of the aircraft for their future usage. Over to Etihad Airways, based in Abu Dhabi, well, well, they had planned to retire their A380 fleet. Thanks to the pandemic and also related restrictions, but on top of that, their restructuring effort, it did make sense for them. But due to the unexpected, or should I say rapid surge in traffic, it led the airline to reverse its decision and deploy the planes towards London Heathrow. In fact, an announcement also came last year that it would begin flying towards New York. Neighbouring Qatar Airways had also announced plans to retire the A380 fleet, considering them unviable viable in a post-pandemic world. However, the airline faced a rapid increase in desire for travel across many of its high-profile routes. The A380's reintroduction allowed Qatar Airways to quickly boost capacity, 
and cater to the rising number of passengers it was seeing pass through its hub of Doha. However, key executives would remain hesitant to commit to the plane for the long term, still very firmly calling it their biggest mistake in company history. On to Lufthansa, and well, they've always remained a significant operator of the A380 up until the global pandemic, when they were in a position to completely review their fleet. They did decide to sell units, and a little bit later down the line, believed that the A380 no longer had a place within their fleet, and were intending to ground the type permanently. But in a similar case to all the aforementioned carriers, as demand returned and quicker than expected, they were a company that was hit by the brunt of those supply chain issues, meaning that the aircraft that they had hoped maybe could replicate what the A380 did for them in the best possible manner were not arriving on time. They had to reconsider their alternatives, and the A380 once more had a place within their network. These are just some of the examples of carriers that have returned the aircraft to their operations. However, others in the industry ultimately followed a pretty similar trajectory. Focusing more specifically on the supply chain struggles at Airbus and Boeing, they have also undoubtedly played a role in the resurgence of this A380. Airlines that had anticipated receiving these new modern planes ended up facing delays, leaving them with not much choice but to revert to these older planes that could do a solid job in the meantime. It also saw a gap that could be filled by this plane that has a substantial amount of capacity. But soon, and even now, these deliveries will commence again, presenting the question of just how long the A380 can actually enjoy the success it is having before discussions surrounding retirement once more emerge. As air travel demand continues to grow, especially in your densely populated regions and on routes to slot-constrained airports, carriers may indeed find value in deploying this large-capacity aircraft like the A380. While the plane has its downsides, something that cannot be ignored, it is still an aircraft type that works for customers and in a post-pandemic world, it has actually enjoyed quite a fair bit of a resurgence especially considering when we take a look at just how many airlines had ridden off the plane in 2020 and 2021. Now, they're flying it and flying it in sheer numbers, expanding their A380 network on a continued basis and meeting demand in ways that they may not have imagined several years ago when they stood pretty firm in believing the A380 would never fly in their colours again. Over to you though, how much longer do you actually see this A380 resurgence continuing? Do you believe the need for your high capacity aircraft such as the 747 and A380 will remain persistent in the industry and as these planes depart, carriers will have a tougher time in operating into your slot constrained airports? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. As always, I hope you did enjoy this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and make sure you are indeed staying Stay tuned for more analysis coverage slated to go live on the channel in the coming weeks. Thanks again for your support. Please do take care and do also be safe. I will indeed see you next time.